Um, anyways, listen, guys, we got some serious business. <laughs> uh, hey, episode two, man. Uh, I'm proud of you guys. Welcome to to our, our hundred viewers. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, no, nah, that's you guys kept it a buck, man. You guys watched our first episode. This is strictly beloved podcast with Marita Lopez and Hassan Phil, and you're myself, Dino, Archie. How, how did we so we did one episode we did one episode and uh we were going when we started the first episode we were initially thinking a different name and, and <laughs> it switched completely forgot <laughs> I, completely. I didn't i wasn't gonna mention it like how they switched uh Will Smith mom, French yeah. Prince of Bel-Air mom. I yeah, was just gonna the just, light the light skin mom. mom. I just did the light skin <laughs> yeah. switch. I wasn't gonna mention it, I'm glad you brought it up. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah so that's funny though, that we kept switching the names like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It was like, you kept, <laughs> and you made like four Instagrams for it too. <laughs> I was like, yo. Uh, so <laughs> the, hardest, the hardest part for like starting uh, an account, right? Is uh, is like thinking of the name, so we're like, yeah, man. What are we gonna call the podcast? It's, it's, it's so, so what did it start off? It start off with like the, um, uh, the diplomats. No, it started off as humble as fuck. Yes, yes. It started off as humble as uh, humble as fuck or humble AF. Yeah. And then it turned into diplomats. Yeah, diplomats. The yeah. diplomats, and now. It, it, and then it turned into and then beloved diplomats. Uh, no, beloved diplomats. Yeah, that was a name. That was a name. That no. was on the table. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure there's <laughs> an Instagram float around. Yo, one thousand. So <laughs> I was taken there by an accident this week. You're and I had to delete it. <laughs> so to get these guys content, so Dino started. Every time we thought of a different name, Dino would start a new Instagram account <laughs> and get a flyer, like get a flyer design, a logo. Yeah, yeah. I, I went all out. And it is it's, it's hard, man, to, to to pick a name, and then you go, man, I I don't even know if I feel like doing this shit. Yeah. Again. Yeah. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. But I'm glad we so we we went with one name. I wasn't I didn't know we would do a second one. I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah. Well, I yeah, thought it would just be. Yeah, it would just be one, <laughs> and. Um, we, 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 the, the first one was even called "Nothing Lasts Forever." <laughs> you know what I mean? Out the gate. Yeah, we already have like an end of a podcast <laughs> energy. <laughs> like, bro, like now. Like, even the way we're dressed, we look like we just came from vacation. Yeah. I from a hot I year like of we podcasting. Retired. Yeah, I feel retired. Yeah, if we fall off now, it's, we, it was good. <laughs> <laughs> if we fall off now, we yeah. like, yeah, man. We did. Yeah, yeah. We <laughs> Why do I feel so accomplished? <laughs> How was your week? Oh my week, ah! Uh, from our last episode. So from our last, I guess Ramadan kind of started the first week, uh, the first time we did record. I think it was like the second day of Ramadan, and now we're coming in on like the around the first week, essentially. So okay. I've just been actively fasting, uh, but still out and about in the streets. And are you t? Are, is there a community that you're that you're tapping in with? Are you just solo, like a lone wolf? Rami Donner. Right now, or do you have a team of 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 other Rami uh, Remedians? <laughs> Remedians. <laughs> of other, of other Remedians. Team of Remedians. Yeah, where you can pray together, uh, eat yogurts and berries and dates. You know, dates. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You saw me eating the dates, bro. Yeah, this guy, guy when dates. you pulled out the dates and the juice, I'm like, this guy. Man. Yeah, he was eating figs. Yeah, he, <laughs> he ate. He was like, yo, yo, yo. He was like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like Mesopotamian food or something. Yeah, like, no, from, like it was from those times. Man. Like you know, you pull out the rug, the little dates, you know. It right, was, you say your prayers. I'm like, this guy's Muslim right now. Really like, man, I, I felt it. I love right it now. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, when you prayed by the beach with me, it was so like you were praying, and I was like sitting there and smoking a joint, and I felt like devout. Just being close to someone who was praying, bro. Just because yeah, I knew he was praying, bro. Like, I love. Yeah, like, I'm gonna just you... watch his back. <laughs> Why? You know, I felt somehow like I was like, yeah, I guess they, they went for this for both of us. <laughs> no, 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 for real, That's for real, bro. When I'm gonna you watch your back, I'm gonna you. watch your back, man. Give a little, put in a good word. When you do <laughs> it, when you do it before the show and like you go to your corner, uh -huh. it it legit feels like you're DMX. You know what I mean? Like when he would pray before a concert, uh -huh. and I feel the vibe. Like yeah. I love that shit. I love when people like get, like do their religious stuff on their own, but it's still around their like. The, I like. I do the too, people, man. I love I, that shit. Bro. I I like that. 
that to be expressive of your religion, but it doesn't jam anyone up. Yeah. I think that's really important. I think that's cool to have a society where somebody could could pray and it isn't weird and a woman could have her titty out, <laughs> breast milk, getting the titty getting sucked and it's not a there's people who trip over that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know it's, what I mean? We're in a weird society that's very North America at least is very like pure they're, they're like this Puritan thing, but just the na the hella nasty and freaky and all the things humans are but it's you don't. They don't want to see you really do something religious, unless it's Christian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's be honest. <laughs> yeah. It is the and not just any Christian. White Jesus. White Jesus. White Jesus. Jesus. If white it, Jesus. If it's, it has to be the Jesus that looks Norwegian. And I fuck <laughs> with Norway. That's, uh, I fuck with Norway. It has to be Norwegian. Stephen. Jesus. <laughs> Uh, then, then you can show that. <laughs> but I like the 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 seeing that seeing that the, that you pull out the mat and it's not a big uh, it's not a big production uh, and you still do it. Mm -hmm. I think that's cool, man. I think it's awesome, man. It, it just shows like discipline in yeah. a person too. It you does. know what I mean? Yeah, that, honestly, that's what yeah. the biggest like. Uh, that's probably the touching point of uh, the whole month for me, at least. Yeah. Like, uh, you take any. Any other time of the year, I probably, I definitely struggle with discipline. Yeah. And so, when you're fasting, I guess that that line of focus on what you need to get done. Yeah. And what's important to you kind of just has its fine lining, uh, has its fine line, and you just focus on that. Yeah. So like, but in regards to like uh, how it's been beloved, I guess uh, I've been telling myself that it's not difficult, right? Because Last year we did the pandemic and Ramadan was uh, was it canceled? It, <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. I, I don't know. No, no, no. It wasn't canceled. It definitely, it definitely, it definitely popped off. I feel off. like I just heard about it this year, <laughs> but I know about it. But no, I know about reason. it, but I feel like it just popped this year. I feel like this year it's big. It's am Ramadan. I tripping or am I making this up? No. That Ramadan pop? That Ramadan is popping this year. More than more than any not any other year, but more like Malcolm X time, mm -hmm. I feel like Ram Ramadan was probably popping. For black people at least. Mm -hmm. yeah. So seeing someone that, you know, looks like me talks, you know, we 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 you know, I'm like, oh that's that's yeah, that's that time of year. Mm -hmm. And are there others, you know, like... <laughs> uh, you know. No, and that's the thing. Sometimes you just never know who's... Yes. Who's practicing, who's Muslim or who's practicing or what. Exactly. Or even fasting. Like, if I... If we weren't... If I never told you or if we were just doing it regular dialogue, you probably wouldn't know. But I, I didn't know you were in the hospital for a month. <laughs> so I would have no idea. Exactly. I have a lot of Muslim friends. Mm -hmm. So, like, I, I've in always... In Toronto, right? For, in Toronto. In Toronto and in Calgary. Mm -hmm. And in Calgary. So, like, I, I've always been around it. You know, mm. and like, but, but you're right though. I've noticed that in the past two years, oh, I've had it more close to me, like yeah. very close. Cause Malik, yeah. our, our buddy, he, he prays and like talks about Ramadan a lot, mm -hmm. like while it's going on. And I've been reading Malcolm X like a motherfucker. So like, I'm more aware of it. You know right. what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm in tune with it. Mm -hmm. Right. That's why like when you go like to your corner and you do your thing, I feel it. You know what I mean? Like, I feel it in a different way either than... Because, like, I could be praying. Yeah. And you wouldn't give a fuck. Yeah. You know what I mean? And same, and likewise. But I don't know uh, how it makes you feel, though. I, I, I like, when you do it, I, I like, it literally feels like it, it feels you're, you're adding, like, some divine shit into the room. Oh. And I know you're not doing that. You're just doing it because, like, it's, it's part of your routine. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But, like, I, I feel like the wave of whatever you're, like, summoning. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I love that shit. Like, like med it's like meditative. Mm -hmm. And you're like putting, it's like you're burning sage. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And it's like coming into the room. I was a dumb ass kid. I was dumb, man. How dumb? Dumb enough to where I did a bit about that, about uh, I really did get, not kidnapped, but I was in the, I made it to the van, but, but, but of uh, the guy. 
Yeah. As a kid, <laughs> I made it to the face. Yo, stop, bro. You always drop want. shit on us where it's like, yo, this happened to me. And we're like, why have you never <laughs> spoken about this? I almost got kidnapped. I did. Uh, the, kid, the kids were trying to take my bike. This dude in the van pulled up. And he was like, man, get in, man. I was like, man, <laughs> thanks, man. Straight to a stranger. Cool. <laughs> man, this guy went, man, I'm glad you showed up. And I get in there in the van. And, and, uh, and this memory hit me out of nowhere, bro. And I was like, wow, that shit happened, man. And I, I was obsessed with ostriches. <laughs> you know, I was just a weird kid. Yeah. And the dude was like, man, hey, what do you like? And, and, and I also didn't know where I lived. I was dumb. That's how dumb I was. Like if I got if I, if I went too far out of the I couldn't tell you where I, I could just go by like symbols and trees. Like parks and yeah, stuff. yo, I was so dumb, and then so I'm I'm talking about ostriches, just to the point where the dude was getting so annoyed. <laughs> It was like, I can remember his face going from like, you know, when someone's turned on and they, the engine is, oh, at first when, they're, when their engine is revved with them. He's like, like, he's like, like yeah, yeah, he got no, it. Right, right. Well, he's, it. he's all ready to go. Yeah, yeah he goes, yeah. I got me a young one, got light eyes. Oh, yo, <laughs> he got light eyes, baby. Like Ooh. when you, like, remember when I was telling you guys when I had the chicken, I was going to go get the girl. Yeah. I was just so happy. <laughs> You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Perfect yeah. amount of horny. He oh, that's the worst. <laughs> that's what this guy was feeling. <laughs> he knew he was gonna get. Oh like, yeah, prime. Oh, he thought. <laughs> oh, he thought. Yeah, bro. Prime grade A. Yeah. Great a piece of ass. <laughs> it's on that guy's so you kept saying what? So I was talking about ostriches and all these details about was, ostriches. Yeah, yeah. What like would you they, say? They, I, I was obsessed with them at the time. Remember, they, <laughs> they grow to be seven feet two inches, which is like. That's specific. That's pretty tall. Yeah. That's pretty tall. 300 pounds, and they could run 35, up to 35 miles per hour. They look, it's, it's like Shaq, if he could run 35 miles. It's, it's a, a terrifying mm -hmm. uh, uh, beast to, to be respected, too. Just a, uh, really fascinated with ostriches. Yeah. They don't get enough respect yeah so you're <laughs> you're in a stranger's van talking about ostriches, talking about ostriches. <laughs> but you yeah. just brought it up or like you he were just like yo well i don't i can't you know memories are a little fuzzy yeah. you know but <laughs> I, I remember him probably asking me hey what are you what are you into you know yeah like a little small talk yeah like but, flirt little yeah, flirt yeah yeah so where do you did he drive you home well that was the thing after i turned i was t talking about the ostriches i saw his face just like like he lost his if he had a boner he lost oh, it. okay yeah what yeah <laughs> what, what am i is this story is no this no story no, no. Is story, this too much the story is amazing <laughs> what's, what's the, why are you what's your face what, like no i'm just like you're wrong me down man what's your wrong me down over here what's a judge you judge <laughs> yeah. Yo, look how he's all looking. Moved away from who wants to, no, to no, tell, no. tell them most vulnerable. <laughs> this guy was saying, what else? You're a dumbass kid. I was a dumbass kid. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to see Put the guy lost you the bone. Like, you're judging me because I was a dumb kid. <laughs> but I was, was I but dumb though? But I was, but I was, was I dumb? <laughs> 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 Yo, were you smart? No! <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. That's the greatest because you, you can turn it that way. You're like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You see? You see I what I was doing? Nobody got, he didn't get any, he got no, he didn't get any boy pussy. Right? Like, we, I was straight you up. You got a fucking ride. That's Dude, what I you got. got. A ride you got a ride? And a good conversation. <laughs> and a good, and someone to listen to me. <laughs> Yo, someone bro, to care. That's a smart kid. That's I think so. I was so dumb, the son, that I was, was smart, smart, man. I turned him off so much that he had to just drop me off. But he didn't know where. I was just like, <laughs> so I was just like, man, keep going, man. Make it right here. I don't know. Finally saw something I recognized, like this big yeah. oak tree or something. You know, when they, they had yellow house on the corner. I go, oh, I got it from here, man. He's like, get the fuck out, man. <laughs> get the fuck out of here. You <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Bro, that's brilliant. Get the fuck out of here. I mean, that's brilliant, though. That you <laughs> motherfuckers were trying to steal your bike. You go into a pedophile's <laughs> van and you yeah, annoy nice. him to the point of no more sex. Like he, you probably cured his pedophileness. I might have made him go. I should start getting women, our, our kids, guys my own age. Yeah. Yeah. He probably was like, "This is too." That's beloved. <laughs> 
That's yo, that's this mother, if this thing has a theme, <laughs> that's Tory, bro. <laughs> Also, I said, what's the, what's the gist of your podcast? <laughs> is, is, is that in We this? take twisted criminals and make them beloved. <laughs> but my dad still doesn't speak English. He doesn't give yeah, a fuck. Yeah, he has to be trying not to. <laughs> yeah, he's <laughs> trying, bro. He has to go where English comes to go. <laughs> he's ducking like, it. He goes, oh, shit, I almost got, I'm going wait. <laughs> yeah, see? <laughs> Yo, and like this guy, no effort, bro. Yeah. Zero effort to learn yeah. the fucking language. You gotta, try not, you gotta try not to learn some shit if you've been living in a place. Yeah. You brought your kids there. Yeah, you man. Like keep that old English. <laughs> keep, shit. That, keep, keep that. Keep that, that shit, shit out of my face. That's how man. I feel about like Bitcoin right now. Yeah. Like Bitcoin, by by like, like for the last like three years, dude's been jo- like I don't know, three years, four years, four or five years, dude's been in my here. Uh, dude's been in my ear we're talking uh, about like coins. bitcoin yeah. cryptocurrency yeah you were sleeping on it yeah yeah <laughs> yeah yeah no I, I i got i was i found i was in it for a, a while man uh but i didn't i it's like i didn't know what it i didn't trust i didn't know what its use was really for mm-hmm. and i didn't hold on to it but i was into it like i had got a place in a a room i was doing the cruises at the time yeah and they got from New York, it got snowed in, but I was already flying into Aruba, so I just flew there. They go, just meet us there. The boat will come get you. Yeah. The boat will meet you there. So I'm there for like six days. I rented out a bungalow, and I just was looking up crypto, but just buying cryptocurrencies. <laughs> like, um, you know what I mean? Some, some, some dude who's like, kill someone and then starting life over, yeah. like a pirate. Yeah, 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 looking up a Bitcoin and, and cryptocurrency, but I was like, "What am I doing, man? This mm-hmm. I don't even know what this is." And I, I pulled out. Mm-hmm. I fucked up. You did. <laughs> you you know, can still get in though. Uh, yeah, you can. Yeah. You can. It's just more expensive. I yeah. just like, like that's how I feel about like Bitcoin. Like when it was like when we, when cryptocurrency was the discussion, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I started bobbing and weaving. Yeah. But now it's kind of like you could just learn it. All these things you could learn. Yeah, man, one thousand, and that, and you're right though, because now, now my brother, my brother is like always out of the house. My sister has her own place. I'm, I'm fucking Vancouver and Toronto. Mm-hmm. My parents fucked up. Mm-hmm. They now they have no one. <laughs> <laughs> they have no one to speak to, like officials. Uh, to, you know what they I mean? Have to learn and, English. But my mom learned, finally learned how to do online banking. Oh, okay, nice. Right, and she was like, ah, Marito, that's it. That's it? Yes, that's oh, simple. That's all it was? <laughs> you know? And she was like literally so, it was adorable. She was so happy mm-hmm. that she learned how to do it. But, but yeah, man, like, it's, it's like it's too late for, because it's like, he's like what? Almost 75, my dad. And he still doesn't know English. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, yeah, you know, he might, yeah, he might as well just out of, out of, it's like I haven't seen friends. Yeah. Never. Yeah, yeah. And so I never. What you mean, never? Like ever? I'm telling you, one I've episode. never seen one episode of Friends. <laughs> I know, I know most of their names. Yeah. Just because white people loved it so much. You it, know it, the theme. Do you song? know the names? I know the theme song. I could recognize it if I hear it, and that's how I know. I duck, I fucking. <laughs> I hear it. Yeah, and not out of almost not because it's almost out of principle now. Just because I've ducked it so long. I never want to watch it. And you're good at it. Like I'm, my like my dad was got good. When I hear I'll be there, I go <laughs> and I'll go and I just yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. When I hear that, I go like You know what, bro? I see I've seen the intro. Yeah. I can't tell you one story why. <laughs> I know Ross is in there. Yeah. I yeah. know David is a nigga named Tyler, maybe. I no, I don't know. No. I like that ignorant shit though. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, love that again, because it. I'm like that with white music, right? Like if I hear Pink Floyd, oh, you dip out. I'm out the game. I'm out the game, and I I try hard not to learn their music. Like even like their music, but like Bruce Springsteen. That's the. And go- I know you fuck you with You know them, that's but, the I fuck with. I, but that's how that's I am, bro. Yeah, that's a white goat. There's a couple <laughs> white goats. Yeah. And I don't know so any of the you white don't goats. Know. <laughs> <laughs> I know <laughs> zero <laughs> white goats, bro. Some decent, Legit. You know, goats. I just learned Fleetwood Mac. Well, you know, yeah, the, the, you watch that's the, a white goat. That they're a goat. That group is yeah. a, a, a. Well, a, not even the group. The girl. The oh, girl. Stevie Nicks. Yeah, man. Stevie Nicks. Stevie is a Nicks. Little, yeah, a little Billy goat. <laughs> Come on now. But there are some. <laughs> <laughs> Stevie Nicks. 
is the Billy Goat. Uh, you heard it here, people. Yo, first, legit, she's a, she's a little Billy Goat, and 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 like, I don't know. I I think the time that I took, I spent ducking her, made me appreciate it more when I finally found it. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah, right. So like, so yeah, maybe maybe I maybe, am. So ducking. you're saying maybe I'll find uh, friends. <laughs> <laughs> Later on. I uh, know, no. no uh, yeah, the the, the odds so. of that happening. I think Friends is trash. And, but they like keep bringing that. But no, but I watch Friends. Keep, honestly, they I keep only watch Friends. <laughs> though. Only I can't even picture you <laughs> watching Friends, bro. So the dude tells, and he go, and in the whole long ass uh, diatribe on here, addressed to me, it goes, no bandanas and in droplets. As they don't stop droplets. Yeah. Like this asshole knows, and it said, so we'll be getting you fined if you do this shit. But so, <laughs> so my son was like, yo, you should wear a mask under it. Yeah. Because <laughs> I can't wait till I see. Oh, it's yo, on. Yo, yo, it's on. When you see this motherfucker and you pull off, oh, with that fucking like, nice cashmere, ooh, cashmere, yeah, when he goes, like, silk. you got a bandana. I'm writing a report. You're a thug, dog. And I snatch it off. I go, I had a mask the whole time. You cocksucker. <laughs> and then you shoot him up. <laughs> so it's war, man. It's war. It this is war. dude, it's he war. snitched on me, bro. And so they're anti-bandana. It's going down. It's, it's also, I'm also Rambo shit now. Mm. Yeah, man. Now I'm going for, I'm going for everybody. Anyone who ever looked at me funny. Yeah. Anybody who ever, you know, didn't, you know, I got a package and they, they, was, they didn't let the Amazon come in. Anyone who ever just did anything in that building, man, everybody's on, uh, anyone could get it. Everyone's so, a threat. Everyone's a threat, man. I'm yeah. a, and, and everyone can you're get Rambo the smoke. You're Rambo right now, bro. I'm a, a renegade. Yeah, you're a renegade. I'm literally like a bandit. Yeah. One they thousand. go, no bandits. Yeah. <laughs> With the bandana bandit. They go, the bandana <laughs> <laughs> and they show, yo, they show, they got a TV in my elevator, and they show uh, uh, offenders. They go, this guy didn't have his mask. That's fucked up. It's man. some Gestapo you shit, man. You know what you should do? He probably, probably put that sign up himself. No, no, it's it's throughout it's throughout the spots where the signs are. It, it got approved. Oh, yeah. This like it has the letterhead of the fucking. This motherfucker's building. on Strata. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> you went to Strata. I'm dealing with Strata, guys. But, <laughs> but we were even talking. Oh, we were talking about that during the break too. Uh, like Hassan, um, I, 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 that's because the last episode we were sort of even almost defending him. He was like, "Yeah, man, that guy has the right to say that, but fuck that, bro." Yeah. Right? Like, fuck that. No, it's Patty War now, man. Yeah, man. Because it's like, it's like, dude, you're, who are you? Yeah. You don't know any of the of the facts that you. Now you're just, now you're just trying to get people in trouble to get people in trouble. You're letting this fake power get to you for no motherfucking reason. And that's why I, I'm, I'm, I don't give a fuck about the mask. You know what I mean? Like, I'm anti-mask. So I'm joking. Yeah, about, you guys put it. He's no, not, no, he's I, 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 no but it. I get where you're coming from. I'm, I'm anti-mask, but I'm not. Um, but I'll wear it. Yeah, that's for, the thing. I wear it. I, I'll wear the fuck out of it. And here's the thing, man. I, no, I'm not even wearing it for them. I look good in masks. That's, I look amazing that earlier, in masks. Man. It's fashion for me. If you give me the fucking medical one, I make it look fly. <laughs> I wear baby blue fucking kicks with it. You know what I mean? If you give me a black mask, I'll rock a fucking black blouse. I don't give a fuck. Like, it's fashion for me now. I'm not wearing a mask for your stupid grandma. <laughs> yeah, that's too, no, this is too ignorant. No, 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 man. Look, it, it, you know what? It, it, since you're gonna go there, it has to be said. No, but I, 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 I'll wear a mask. <laughs> like, like, legitimately, legitimately, looks good with my outfit. One thousand percent. I'm gonna be wearing masks for the rest of my life. But what about my grandma? It ain't about your grandma. It's about my style. It's about my style. <laughs> All right, it's about my hashtag. It's about all that. You wanna look at my mask right now? My mask is fucking fly. I love this mask. You wanna know why? Because it has an Aztec on it. Looking of the future. <laughs> Fuck your grandpa. <laughs> 
right. <laughs> All right, let's go to break, man. And, uh, yeah, we'll get some refreshments in and come back. <laughs> that was good. Yeah. What, what, what time do you got? Yeah. Oh, you need me to do some talking? I can talk my shit, man. Come on now, mama. Hey, mama. Hey, baby. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, that's a. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that sounds crazy. That that was a. <laughs> that's a. <laughs> that's a conversation like uh, Amir, Amir and I. We years ago, when we were like new in comedy, we went down to, to San Francisco. We drove for this competition at Tommy T's. Uh, 10 grand was on the line. So it just, all the ne'er-do-wells and low lives, like, it was like a bound, in a, like a Western, when they put up a bounty on a guy and all the lowest life is scumbag cowboys come to town. That's how we went. We came out there and we were broke, so we stayed at a hostel, uh, like, like Australians and shit. So it's me <laughs> and you know, we're with these, uh, we, we, we got a room ourselves. And so, but it's in the most hoodest part of the worst area of San Francisco is the Tenderloin district. <laughs> yeah, it's all like Hastings, like East Hastings. Yeah. Like just Liddy, man. And we're in the heart of it. And and, every, and then you, the people at the hostel, they kind of become your, you're like a, 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 you almost like a foster kids. You, you're sharing the kitchen, mm -hmm. you're, you're, you get to know, you don't get to know them, but you know their routine. And there was this black dude in there, he had like yellow mohawk and shit, he looked cutting edge, but, and, and he got on the phone with his mom, and Mamir and I were like making toast or something in the community kitchen. And this dude, he gets on the phone with his mom and he's hella loud, you can only hear his conversation, and his voice was like that. It's like he didn't look, his voice was like a Medea. But he looked like cutting edge and shit, like a punk rocker. And he was like, and we just would watch him. He goes, hey, mama. He goes, <laughs> that was his voice. I was like, wow, OK, that's, you know, when someone looks a certain way and yeah. a different voice comes out, you're like, oh, that's funny. And then so he has our attention. He goes, yeah, mama, I'm just, you know, I'm just uh, just calling you to let you know how good God is. And we're like, this guy sounds like an old black auntie. Yeah, yeah. But he looked like a young black You know Mark? Mark James Heath? Yes. That's how he was kind of had that. <laughs> yes, 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 yo, like, yo, hey, baby. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's so he, and then we're just hearing this conversation. His mom couldn't hear, and he's like, "No, I said God is good, Mama." And then we just say how good God is, and he's yelling how good God is to his mom. And Mir and I was just like, "Yo, this is so funny to us." And so the rest of the day we were like. Yo, these chips are fire. Yeah. Yo, that the best Dude, story? No, 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 this is just, the rest of the day, though, we would go, like, we'd just be, like, walking through the city, and we were just, you know, we were drinking this shit in the daytime, like, just scumbags. We're walking around, and out of nowhere, be like, hello? And, and he goes, hey, mama. And I go, oh, mama, I'm, everything's good. Just let you know God is good. And he goes, I can't hear you, baby. <laughs> I said, I just let you know that God is good, mama. And he goes, baby, I can't hear you. And then I get frustrated. I go, bitch, I told you I love the Lord. <laughs> like, where he, where he, that's, that's, the, that's the joke. That's the joke. It's so, it's so inside. I had to explain. It takes so much explaining. But it's like. When when that is like, yo, talk. Yeah, yeah, I go. What came out? Yeah, like yeah, because I was like, I might as well say a story, not just a bunch of stupid words. That's fire. Yes, yeah, baby. We're back, man, and this is a the, this is this is a part of the podcast that the few people who saw the first one, they they liked this part. This ain't for them. This is for us. But I'm glad it connected. This is a a, a point of us getting together was that we like to point out beloved things. We see life through a, a lens. Where you you we we tend to point out the beauty in things, whatever they are, and we want to make sure we do that every every day. That's how I like to live personally. So this week, nothing in particular happened that I was, you know, a beloved moment I was a part of. Uh, I'd be I'd be reaching, I'd be reaching if I said, yeah, that, that was beloved, you know, because uh -huh. I gave somebody a light on the. <laughs> And gas, you know what I mean? When someone goes, hey, you got a light? You go, yeah. And that's like, it doesn't, that's not, you're not put out. And and I did it. And then he spoke, he goes, thanks, man. I was like, right on. And someone else saw me give him the light. They go, yo, could you give me a light? I said, yeah. 
and then this gas town. So you know they be cooking up. Uh-huh. So I was lighting hair. I was lighting everybody. <laughs> Whatever drug. I didn't care. I gave a light to everyone. That's I got not, you. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Let me <laughs> I didn't judge what they were smoking. I didn't. I wasn't there for that. I was. Everyone was like, but that's not beloved. That's nothing. Uh, to, pa- no, that's beloved. If passing the torch was a person. <laughs> yeah. He, 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 he just, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was just uh, just something light. But the, the I wanted to talk about this because this is an actual issue. In my algorithm, what, like I said, I get so much different information and I'm getting a lot of uh, media outlets and stories and headlines pushing this uh, agenda that there's a, a malice from the black community towards the Asian community. There's been an anti-Asian, the the, the numbers of, of hate crimes and, and, and shit has been exposed or gone up, mm-hmm. and they've been painting it as if it's from black people, like black people have some beef against Asian people, and it's a, it's a lie. It's propaganda, and I wanted to talk about that because it's important to me. I got a lot of friends from all places but I just deal with the truth and I don't speak on behalf of the black American community often ever but I will we got no beef with the Asian community in fact black Americans and Asians have been culture vultures of each other (laughs) the most yeah black people love kung fu and Asians love break dancing it's just <laughs> Yo, it's the same thing. It's pretty much the same that's thing. That's facts. That's facts. That's facts. You could break it crouching tiger hidden dragon could have been a break dance move. <laughs> it's like breaking. <laughs> Yo, for real. Like break it, man. Wild Everyone style. knows this. Uh the Asian community works in the black community and they'll have an instance here and there of someone who happens to be black and some but it goes both ways. It, there's no agenda against it. And I know for a fact that we got no agenda against the Asian community because when I lived in LA, this is a, a kind of a beloved moment that I just was a, was a part of. I, I go to this, this uh, nail salon in Sherman Oaks, right uh, right around the corner from me. I walked there, got my little track suit up, and I dip, you know, I dip my hands in the bowl. They know me there. All Asians, this is my community. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? I would come in town. Tap in, get the, you know, just stay clean. Just uh-huh. keep, keep, the, keep the hands nice, you know. And I became a regular there. And they're cool with me. I'm cool with them. I could pop in, get my nails done, and keep it moving. One day I'm there. Boom, all the ladies are there, all the housewives. And it's me, and I'm, I'm, my hands are soaking. And this dude comes in off the street. He didn't get a service there. He wanted to use the ATM but he didn't want to get charged for it or some kind of entitled bullshit. It was some kind of entitled thing where he was in the wrong. I'm sitting there and then he's making a commotion in my salon and the owner's like, yo, you gotta pay the fee, man. If you get it, he was like, I shouldn't have to pay the fee. It was a dumb argument. And there was a Wells Fargo down the street too. And so he keeps, he kicks it up. It's like a white dude or something, he kicks it up to like a nine or something. He's screaming, yelling. The women are scared. He's yelling at the owner. The owner's kind of being docile. He doesn't want that smoke. And I said, hey man, why don't you stop yelling, man, and calm down. And he goes, he goes, who the fuck are you? And I said, I'm the guy not yelling. You know, with my hands still. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I'm, this is a true story. Just soaking? Just soaking. He's yeah. like, man, fuck you. <laughs> this, was a, this guy was a bad guy. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. wanted smoke. He goes like, shut the fuck up. I was like, all right, fine. And then he's, he's still yelling, yelling at the owner, and then he spits on him. He spit in his face, and that's when I... Like a... Like a... Like a... Tuff, like, yeah, like a hawk lo- loogie oh, like in this a, guy's face. Oh, wow. Not like... <laughs> like, well, like well, he's talk- he's I don't know. No, no, I'm thinking like, yeah, he's talking and he's spitting. Like, no, 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 no. He intentionally spits Damn. at the owner, the guy that's in my community. So I step up, man. I I stand up, man, and I like I, I bounce him. I don't work there. I, I don't. Like, I love this Dino, but man, way. me too. I didn't know. I'm not this guy, man. So I have, you took your hands out the out the yeah. Did that's you why wipe I was. Your hands? I want no, no, <laughs> man, nah, man. This because he made me. That. 
He yeah. made me take them out. They're supposed to rest in the bowl yeah, yeah. for like five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> so, so he interrupted all that. Yeah. His shit got all the way. And now this fight has nothing to do with me, but it's in my community. This is the point of what I'm trying to say. It's like when you're in the community, that's what you're, you're about. It ain't no beef against your neighbor. That's not, that's, I don't, I, we grew up like that in Fresno around a lot of, Every poor, the poor of every color. Uh-huh. Everyone's kind of brown. Even the white kids are dingy. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. Is, everybody's just the different shades of <laughs> yeah of, of of brown and shit. And and so, anyways, the guy, the guy, he he spits on the guy, and I just snap, man. I get up, and I and I grab him. I say, "You're you, now get the fuck out of here. You're out. You're out." Like a club. Like I bounced him out of the nail salon and I walk him out of the club of the, of the nail salon and I'm heated just cause it's like you don't treat somebody like that and and I didn't like this attitude I wanted now my nails is wet they fucked up so I'm mad and I said I said man I said I should beat I should knock your ass out even though I I'm not I don't know if I could do that yeah. but I'm just there and and then he and he kind of wanted to smoke but he didn't but I kind of wanted you know, and I went too far, and I go, fuck, I said, I'll, not, I'll beat your ass. I, I said that, and he wasn't gay at all. So this just was purely from a place of, like, I want to say fighting words to you. Uh-huh. But I knew I went too far. I knew I went too far, man. And now he's, this happened all in the middle of traffic. This is L.A., and he's backed off, and I'm like, that's right, man. Don't come back around the salon again. And then I go back in to the salon, dip my hands back in the, <laughs> the water. People would start clapping. The ladies, they're like, yeah, you know, he's a good guy, you know. And I was like, you know, it's nothing, you know. And the owner's like, thanks, man. And then the dude comes back. And he, and he opens the door. He goes, he called me. <laughs> what I said, and I just said, no, I didn't. I, I said, my brother's gay. Why would I say that? It, yo, it was crazy. It was pandemonium. And they, and they go, nah, he wouldn't say. I said, yeah, I don't know what this guy's talking about. <laughs> yeah. And I once again, he wasn't gay. I didn't. He didn't do nothing gay. For me to provoke me saying that, so it mm-hmm. wasn't connected to that. That mm-hmm. wasn't it. Yeah. But it was a disgusting word to say. That disgusting word to say for for someone who is behaving disgusting. It is, but it it, it, it might. But it is petty. It's petty. It's it, I was an instrument for for nasty in that moment, uh-huh. and I, I But you know, but it was not connected to anything. Yeah. But the beloved yeah. part about that is that you know that, and they knew that. They, I, well, you know they, I mean? they gave me the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> yeah, because I did. Yeah, they gave me the benefit of the doubt, but I, I did go. I did like. Yeah, I defended so the I defended the Asian community, but then I went too far with the yeah. other community, yeah. and then I just denied it, and then he waited for like ten minutes in front, and he was like, "I'm calling the cops," and and I'm like still getting my nail. I said, "I don't worry about it," and then uh, I looked at his owner. I was like, "Yo," he was like, "Yo, just sneak out the back." <laughs> you could come through the back because my car was parked around the corner. Uh-huh. So I was like, the cops are going to come. I'm going to get arrested because I kind of assaulted them. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's, it's, so it's not like, yeah. I was like, what the heck? And I drove and got, on the, and got on the 101. I was like, I'm a good guy. <laughs> nice yeah. nails, too. Yeah, yeah. My nose, my nose were immaculate. <laughs> I said, yeah, man. I did my good deed for the day. That's fire. <laughs> yeah, so... That's 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 to the to every community, but to the Asian community and 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 to yeah to the Asian community, man. There's no beef, man. Don't believe that. Don't believe the hype. That so was uh, beloved with you this week. If if there was a beloved moment, um, and it, like I don't even know if this is a beloved moment, but like Black Rob died. Yes. Right. The the rapper. Yeah. And, yeah. And like he's he's not like a great rapper. He's not he's not uh, like I mean in the sense of like Jay Z. He doesn't have Nas. that that same impact. But exactly. He's still a, but he's dope, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah, like Bad Boy. Like he like next like next to Biggie. I think he was the best on Bad Boy. Okay. Like, yeah, I like, like you know lyrically what? him. I him did. Biggie and Jada Kiss were like they have bars. Bro. You know how I feel about how I felt about New York people. Yeah, you didn't like New York rap. But I but a Black Rob got to me yeah. somehow. Yeah, it got to my bro. Life, life I, story. His yeah, debut album. Dope. His he, debut album was fire. He was really dope, man. That's was true. Was fire, bro. But 
But, um, because I think he died maybe two days ago or something like yeah. that. And you know when, like, you know when you hear the news, like when DMX died, um, I started reflecting about, like, how much of a head I am, how much of a hip-hop head I am. You know what I mean? Because I'm like, oh, shit, a lot of people don't know about Black Rob like I do. Right. You know what I mean? Because, like, I, I studied rap, man. When I was a little kid, like, I, I, I would, like, uh, fantasize about being, like, a journalist or, like, teaching a, a class about hip-hop. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like in university, like being a professor. And uh, I write books about hip hop. Uh, I, I write reviews. Like even this podcast, like, uh, like I, I want to use it to talk about how much I love rap. You know what I mean? Like, I, I love hip hop, bro. Like, and Every time I heard like Coolio and like Dre and like Snoop Dogg, that's when I was like, oh shit. No, I belong here. Like, the, the, this music, like, is. It, it it was my dictionary, bro. Like it, it taught me how to like speak and like, and and, and, and like I remember I, when I was a kid too. Like I loved rap so hard that I would speak fully slang. Yeah, people, mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So like I don't even consider my formal writing intelligent. I consider my slang intelligent mm -hmm. because that's that's the real um, the soul of it. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that's where that's where my formal. Um, good etiquette comes from is through the the imperfectness of it. Mm -hmm. A funny story. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> that was the only way you get in that man. Yo, that, that was, was the, the only way you get in that. That was the that. fucking best. Shit <laughs> I've ever done. I'm so glad you did that too, because I didn't want to sit here and look at your face anymore. <laughs> After you told me how much you love hip hop, I wanted him to get away from me. <laughs> Yo, just, I wanted him to, to hurry up. <laughs> hurry up to, I wanted him to hurry up and shut up about how much you love hip hop. <laughs> wow, I'm a piece of shit. So yeah, that was that was beloved. You love rap and. Uh, <laughs> You love rap. You love rap. Hey, listen. Let me close this thing up. You love rap. You love Robbie Don. I'll, you can find me at the Ramada, people. Wait. This is, this is strictly be loved. You don't be so mad at the no. turd in the, in, the, in the punch bowl. Is that what it was? Turd in the punch bowl? Is that how you say it? No, I think. I feel like we can. I feel like we can end it, man. <laughs> Well. Yeah. Not, in my, not in that way. I don't mean in the in the mind as well. You said it in a nasty way. I'm just saying that <laughs> mine as well. Uh, well, well. We might <laughs> take this mic off. We yeah. might as well. <laughs> this guy just told me for 40 minutes how he loved him. Yeah. Out, man. So, what, you, what, what else do you got to say? <laughs> oh, my. Yo, you should have had that. You know that Dave you Chappelle bit to wrap it up by No, no. <laughs> no, dude. We do. <laughs> We <laughs> had slow motion, like a fan in on my face. And we're just gonna go. I, I love that. <laughs> he goes spikely. <laughs> it's the time to stop. With the scarf, I have yeah. a scarf too. <laughs> you, you go, steal, and then he goes, steal, I rock. <laughs> you're performing all the greatest hits of blackness. I gotta. <laughs> I'm gonna look at you the way you were looking at me that one time you blacked out. Yo, yeah. Yo, I was listening. Yo, you blacked out. Yo, Marie, don't just black down right now. Marie was like, and then it was us. And then I looked and said, this is Scott going to miss you. Miss you. Ooh, I can't stand the radio. You were just going to miss you. The Missy, I do the whole, the full Missy yeah, yeah, video. Yeah. And I we're just can't stand the rain. We're watching. <laughs> I love hip hop, dude. I really love hip hop, bro. But that was the best ending, the walking away. That's how you, yeah. No, that that's the yeah. That that was the best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're doing the. This is the best of man. This is our only our episode. This is the be episode the best, two, best of, of baby. strictly beloved podcast. Of, of be safe, man. But I didn't even beloved. get to say what I love for. No, no, no. I do want to hear your beloved moment, bro. Okay. 
Yeah. I'm gonna keep it short and sweet. No, yeah. it better not be rap. If, if you love rap, <laughs> he goes, I love rap. <laughs> <laughs> I, said, I hate to break on, it to you. <laughs> Come on, man. What happened to you? What happened, man? Tell me. Tell me, tell me this is the beloved thing. <laughs> no. Okay. No, I'm serious, man. I want to. I was just giving. I, I, come on, man. I'm busting balls over here. I'm busting yeah, bust balls over here. Wait. <laughs> I'm Italian. breaking your balls over here. <laughs> okay, no, no, no. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. No, I want to know what happened with you, with with, with your beloved this, this. this week. How you're part of it. That's very important. So I was sitting in the car, and I connected to the aux cord, and then I just realized. I love rap music. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I knew it. Son That's of a how bitch. I knew. That's how I knew. <laughs> <laughs> you just I love hip hop. I said, alright, go ahead, man. I'll listen to <laughs> you.